Hi guys, Jesse Kime here with another Final Cut tutorial. In this video, I will be showing you how to import high definition footage into Final Cut Pro using login transfer. This is somewhat similar to using login capture, except we will not have to worry about rewinding tapes and um, also the uh, computer will have to convert uh, file format. Um, I use the Sony NX5U camera that shoots in high definition and standard definition and the native file format on the uh, the camera is AV AVC HD I believe and uh, Final Cut Pro sadly does not work with AVC HD files whereas you may notice that um, like Adobe Premiere and other programs can work with the AVC HD. So we're just gonna have to go through a little process to convert the files into a, a high quality dot move. So first things first we're going to make sure our capture scratch is set um, up in system settings. So make sure your files are going to the correct folder and we'll proceed to log and transfer. Uh, you could go file, log and transfer, or command or shift command 8, which is the hotkey, and it brings up the uh, log and transfer window. As you can see on the left, it's kind of similar to Final Cut's um, browser window, and over here is the viewer window. You can scrub through uh, your clips and pick out what uh, pick out what you like so um, I'm going to take some footage from this uh, band that was uh, in a local park uh, I'm going to set an in point and an out point so uh, we won't have to worry about importing all this extra footage uh, let's see what that does all right we have about a two minute clip and you can go down here and you can name it. Any uh, information that you add right now will help you later on as far as uh, organization goes. So I found my clip, set my in and out points, and uh, basically all you have to do now is add selection to queue. And then uh, Final Cut Pro will begin ingesting the footage. It will take it straight off the uh, hard drive or SD card whatever you have your footage on and it will transfer it to a dot move and we'll be back in a few minutes after this process is completed okay well our file finished and uh, it now will appear in the browser and uh, also the file will be saved in your capture scratch folder and uh, basically that's the process uh, that you need to go through to import HD footage